<laughs> Wiper is currently on board an international container vessel. Trade route only in Europe. As the sun will start to shine, he will now then stretch his hands, take a bath, and will be the first to go down in engine room. We are in an Oman vessel, so all engine room team will only work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Still, Wiper wakes up 6 o'clock in the morning for preparation in his morning routine. Around 6.30 a.m., he will now then begin to take his daily log sheets filling it up all accurate details needed by our chief engineer. Level and volume of tanks should be correct before transferring it to our engine room logbook and oil record book. Wrong or incorrect filling in record books can lead to ship's detention and in worst cases, chief engineer can be put behind bars. This daily routine is very important because first, it is necessary for filling up our log books. Second, is to know our daily consumptions of every machinery. Big changes from normal volume can indicate that there might be a problem in some machinery. Fuel tanks, main engine sum tank, fuel lake tank, separator sludge tank, or sludge tank, bilge tank, and etc are the most common tanks to keep an eye of every engine room team. After all has been filled up, he put the log sheet to Chiffiner's table and when Chiffiner comes before 8am, all data is ready for final checking. Then Wiper do a little bit cleaning in our coffee tables, washing some cups of coffee and a big thanks to our ship owner for providing us a coffee machine that gives us boost during our working hours. Now it's time for breakfast. Wiper goes up and eat a tasty food from our chief cook which give us energy in a full day work. Before 8 am, all engine team are gathered for the box meeting while having some coffee if you like. Second engineer then give us job order. After it, we will now having our daily routine first. Wiper makes his round in engine room from main deck to tank top deck or from 4th floor going down to 1st floor. 
He makes sure that every floor is clean and without drops of fuel or oil. If any one of us found out big leakages, abnormal sounds, excessive vibration of machinery, and more, shall report immediately to second engineer or chief engineer. After his round, he can then proceed to his job order. Either he will work alone or he will assist us in our job which requires extra hand. His weekly routine or Saturday routine is to check the high-level alarm of all bilges if it is working. Sampering or disabling bilges alarm can lead to bigger problem. If broken, repair or replace immediately. He also puts chemical for sewage unit system. For this I will be explaining in my next vlog how this chemical works.
is done in weekly routine, again he will do cleaning jobs in engine room deck. Before we proceed guys, I would like to make a shout out to my previous wiper, Jay Paghubasan Basquinas, one of my very good wiper. Shout out to you Jay Ski. Sa Thailand ba yung mga nagkakadite, marami din hindi nag-survive? Madami, almost half. Pero ito yung pagsiman. So, almost half daw na nagkakadite ng Thailand din na nagkapatuloy. Bakit bakit sila nagkapatuloy? Kasi siguro mayayaman sila tapos mahirap talaga mag-Thailand ng talo na ako. Sa try lang kami na nalagay. Yung sa'yo ba sa dry data na yung parto mo? Oo, sa dry data ako na. Almost 3 months sa dry data yung parto. Bago nag-save, bago tumakbo. So, anong mga discarding ginagawa mo para mabuhay ka doon sa parto na yun? Bakit bakit kayo makasurvive doon sa Thailand? Anong mga... Paano mong ginawa? Pakisama? Enjoy your life? Ah, sa Thailand, iba kung sila yung sahod? Lang din sa pag Thailand ka tapos yung service ka doon. Diretsyang pagkain lang. Walang... Walang sahod. Then, budget yung meal. Pero pagkatapos mong kadete? Good. Kung maka-ako ka, yun, may sahod ka na. Pero hindi pa rin siya pang ano eh. Pang pamilya eh. Pang pinata lang talaga. So, paano ka nakapasok ng international? International na pasok? Ay, may ulang sa akin. Good. Almost two months ako na utility, utility, then yun, hindi na nakasakpa ng international. Sa utility, anong mga ginagawa mo? Kung saan-saan ka nila ina-assign, sa marina, sa amato, sa kapisan, asista sa mga staff nila. Tayo-tayo ka lang doon. Utos. Kung ano-anong utos. So, nung nakasampa ka na after two months ang Mikulipi, anong pakirandam nung nakasakay ka na ng unang international na bago? First time, mas kakaiba. Mas trial kasi mas malaki yung bago. Okay. Iba yung weather. Tapos, yung boyish kasi yung nasa kaya ko nun. Almost one month yung biyahe. Proceed to Asia. Then balikan. Almost one month and a half. Tapos niya. And then, pull through yung all-in and on for propylene. And then, ayos naman. Kasi doon na yung pag-aayon. Ilang buwan ng unang kustrata mo? Nine months? Nine months. Ano orang, ano orang tu mula mula sampai dengan international. Kata aku nak dial wiper nak kata aku nang sumpah pada first time. Ibarat sih nabi yang pen pagi mula 
sa mga nag-apply ngayon ng international o di pa nakasakay ng international at nasa Interland pa uh, anong matasabi mo sa kanila? Uh, so guys, this is lang and then taong patao uh, patibayan lang ng exit sa lahat naman ng pagsubok ay eh, parang uh, uh, may makukuha kang dating na Siguro naman makapatengs ka pag nandito ka na. Ano na ako, labas-labas ka kung saan-saan. So, huwag lang suko. Huwag lang susuko. Puso lang. <laughs> so, saan ngayon na kumpanya mo? Masaya ka ba? Masaya naman dito to. Sa uh, kampanya namin bago. Uh, enjoy. Uh, bigyan ka ba ng puro siguro. Hindi ka tanay sa malamig, pero ito, puro lamig. Pero okay lang. Good company. Right, it's here. Okay, one. So, please guys, uh, um, share and like. And so share guys, uh, tapos na yung interview ko sa kanya. So, huwag niyong kalimutan mag-like and subscribe. Uh, para sa iba pang mga video natin. Thank you. God bless.